We're going to start the skinny with not one, but two couples sent packing on last night's Dancing with the Stars. Right. First elimination of the night was Kenny Babyface Edmonds oh. and pro partner Allison as he admitted mistakes he made in Monday night's Tanko and thanked his fans for their support. Hmm. This experience is a, it's an amazing experience learning to dance with everyone. The family here is amazing. Everyone is just, I, I just want to thank everybody. Thank all my fans and thank everybody for voting for me. It's been amazing. It's such a treat. Aww. And despite his amazing Cirque du Soleil performance Monday night, it wasn't enough to keep Vanilla Ice and his partner Whitney on the dance floor. This is a magical, magical experience. I've, I love it. It's great. Dancing makes you happy, and this is just a happy experience. I'm honored to be here, and I appreciate all the fans and the people. It's magical, but I appreciate her. Well, that was kind of sad to see him go. He seemed so enthusiastic, and he, he did. did so well. Yeah. But the biggest moment of the night was one no one saw coming. So after their steamy contemporary dance to Bruno Mars' Just the Way You Are, pro dancer Sasha Farber had a surprise for fellow pro Emma Slater. I've wanted to do this for such a long time. I love you so, so much. Who needs a mirror ball trophy when you can walk off the stage with a diamond engagement ring, huh? Congratulations to them. Good luck. All right. Now on a lower note, the stunning admission from Ben Stiller on live radio. The Emmy Award winning actor opened up to Howard Stern about being diagnosed with prostate cancer two years ago. At first, I didn't know what was going to happen. So right. I was scared. You know, I was scared. I didn't sure. know. You know, the one thing that it does is it just stops everything in your life when you get a diagnosis of cancer because you can't, you can't plan for a movie. You can't, make, no. you know, because you don't know what's going to happen. The tumor was surgically removed, and Stiller has been cancer-free since then. Now, there is a bit of controversy. Stiller's cancer was detected by a blood test known as a PSA, which many doctors shun because of its unreliability. Next, Vice President Joe Biden goes undercover. He marked National Domestic Violence Awareness Month by teaming up with actor Adam Devine in a Funny or Die video in which the two try to secretly infiltrate a typical college party. I'm back at the White House. I'm talking to Barack Obama. I, I mean, I'm at the frat house, so watching a program about llamas I, on YouTube, you know? And most importantly... <laughs> the video did have an important message, message though, about raising awareness about camp campus sexual assault. And finally, we're trying to figure out what is up with Jude Law's hair. Yes, yeah, so the British actor attempted to pull off a rather questionable mohawk at a literary event last night in London. Not really a mohawk in the purest sense. It, it looks like he just had fluffed it up a little bit, gelled it maybe on the sides. Did it work? According to our production team, no. We had nicknames like it was just a fail, and then they eventually merged it. A he, fail hawk. It looks like a cockatoo. Oh, a little bit, yeah. yeah. <laughs>